Pauline will start off by making a comment, and then she'll turn it over to questions. Sure. Well, really glad to see you all here today, and uh, really appreciate this opportunity to uh, have the privilege to work in Idaho State Athletics alongside what is a very um, skilled staff who are extremely passionate about our student athletes at Idaho State. It's an exciting time here at our institution. There is a lot of change happening. There is a great amount of opportunity and enthusiasm. Uh, the community is certainly rising to the occasion of showing support for Idaho State. And we are, are poised, I think, to enter uh, a whole new time of excitement and, and high performance and excellence. And it's so great to be part of a team where everyone is very, very committed to uh, those ideals. So I couldn't be uh, more proud to be a Bengal. I've always been proud to be a Bengal, but to have the opportunity to uh, work with the staff to impact uh, the lives and futures of our student athletes, I think is probably uh, the, the greatest honor that I've ever that I've ever had. I feel a great responsibility to be successful at it. So I'm excited today. I'm happy, and uh, I'm really ready to go to work. Idaho State Athletics has taken a lot of strides, but you're taking a strike for women in sports. You're the first female in history for Idaho State Athletic Director. What does that mean to you? Well, it, it means that, uh, that we've made great progress, that uh, inclusion and equity is real in collegiate sports. Uh, it means that people are working together with an eye towards progress and simply uh, valuing people based on their skills and what they bring to the table and there's a great deal of, of respect and um, I'm, I'm really happy that we have an environment at Idaho State where I, I don't think it mattered. I think I'm the athletic director because I was uh, selected in a fair process based on results and qualifications and really uh, until today when I actually saw that in black and white I didn't think about the fact that I would be the first woman AD. I thought uh, I've just been thinking how proud I would be to be the athletic director at Idaho State and how proud I am to be a Bengal. Absolutely. When did you I guess find out and what were kind of your uh, emotions or, or reactions when you got the, the final word? Uh, well uh, the president and I spoke for an extended time uh, very late yesterday and I was, uh, I was ecstatic, to say the very least, uh, very optimistic. I just felt, um, you know, the responsibility set in on, on me, which it has been for the last six months. But uh, I, I was very, very happy to be able to begin looking forward for Idaho State Athletics with a different time horizon, a long time horizon, rather than just uh, thinking about um, fighting short-term fires and addressing issues and getting through the next game or the next week in a really effective way. We can start as a department to really plan for the future and uh, extend to the public in some time a strategy and a vision that everybody can uh, be on board with and understand the part that everyone from the community to the student athletes to the staff will play in that long-term vision. And we can really, I think, start to make, instead of just exciting progress in short chunks, really meaningful long-term progress. During your uh, time as interim, we even talked that, you know, maybe you becoming the athletic director was not really a, you guys were going to start searching for others. When did it start to become a long-term vision that, hey, I could take this step as the athletic director and potentially, you know, kind of become a part of the Bengal program more than just interim? Well, a few months ago when President Satterley extended that uh, invitation and, and said, you know, I think that you are welcome to be considered as a candidate. Um, at that time, I really started to think about what long term could be. Uh, even before that, I was committed to the future of Idaho State and always have been invested in athletics mm -hmm. and had become very excited and, and reinvigorated, reminded of my time as a student athlete about what a great tool athletics is for an institution. And even then was committed as an interim to, you know, we've got to use athletics at the institution to advance Idaho State's mission um, and to build our relationship with the community. So I'd have to say very early on I started thinking about that responsibility and I'm glad that we did because I think we've we've made some meaningful progress and and it doesn't feel like we're starting over today. It feels like we're going to continue just with a longer time horizon. Absolutely. 
How seamless was the transition? I mean, essentially now you're just taking the word interim away. So I guess how important is that that you kind of know the athletics, you know the coaches, you know the players, and now you get to stick around. So how important was that seamless transition? For well, I, I think that transitions are always really hard. You know, change management is something that uh, it has to be really carefully thought out. And so it is going to be a little bit of a transition because we really do have to start thinking in a different way and about this longer term vision. And that's really exciting to me. I think it's um, it's going to be a privilege to sit down and continue to really listen now to staff about their long term ideas, not about just short term needs and things that we need to address immediately just to get by and to get through this next season, but what can really be transformational for our department and institution over a long term. And that's a switch in thinking. And that's what we have to ask ourselves to do now is to take in all of our uh, strengths and all of our uh, goals and think about for the long term. What's that end we want to see in mind? What's it going to look like? And then how are we going to get there? So um, we haven't had the same kind of opportunity to think about that in the last six months that I think we now together as a staff have. And it's the most exciting thing. And so I think that transition is going to be a very, very positive one. And as a student here, I attend multiple ISU sports events and I see you around quite often. How important is it for you to continue to attend these sporting events, especially and more specifically towards those sports that don't get as big of a fan base? Yeah, that, that's absolutely important. I mean, that has been a statement over these last six months about what my intentions are and how invested I am in our programs and in every student athlete. I mean, we can't just think about how we're going to advance football or men's basketball or uh, we have to think about how we're going to create a great experience for track and for tennis. And part of that is me being present in those programs and understanding their challenges and understanding the sport they love and they play and what their coaches face. So that's going to continue. That's not going to change at all, partly because it's absolutely necessary, partly because that is my avenue to having a direct relationship with student athletes where they, they really know and understand that they're valued. And uh, partly it's just necessary for education. But um, that presence is not going to change because I, I said in the public forum, I go because I can't wait to get there. And that's true. So uh, changing that would not would not make my experience any better because I, I want to be there. And interacting with the students, taking a seat in the student section, um, and uh, you know, handing out a couple of bags full of Snickers, which they can eat because I don't need any more, right? But we, um, we have conversations about what's important to them and what will get them really invested in Idaho State Athletics. And that information is important. It's authentic when you're sitting right there in the midst of it to receive it and uh, it's going to inform our work in the athletic department. This might be a rhetorical question, but what is it that you're most excited for? <laughs> I'm most excited for our department to reach its full potential because it is tremendous and I think that oftentimes just over the years with uh, uh, budget constraints what they have been and with opportunities maybe uh, being perceived as limited, mm -hmm. that, that we have tried to stay within a certain expectation or maybe have placed ourselves in a certain role that I don't think matches our potential at all. And I'm most excited about just saying, hey, let's reject that. Let's reject those limitations. Let's figure out where we have to go, where we want to be, and let's get there with a careful plan. Let's figure out the resources we need and let's engage all of our partners, our students, uh, the institution and all of its departments, the State Board of Education, uh, our constituents, alumni, our corporate partners, and let's bring all of those groups together and let's realize our potential because I think it's cracking and I'm pretty excited to get there. Absolutely. It's great. At this point, are you able to uh, give any examples of any of your short-term uh, or long-term goals or plans? Well, we have to solve our facilities problem at Idaho State. You know, facilities are an arms race in NCAA athletics. There are a tremendous um, uh, importance in recruiting student athletes and in recruiting coaches, and they, they make a difference in the student athlete experience. And we have some shortcomings. They make a difference in the fan experience. 
So we have to put together a facilities master plan for this department that makes sense and that we can begin moving toward right now. I think that the first piece of that was Davis Field. Uh, there are some other pieces of that that I, I hope we can bring into place in the short term. But long term, we need to be able to tell the community with a, a solid um, concept in mind what our facilities need to look like in the future and what our plan is to get there. So that is, uh, I think, of the utmost importance. Anybody else? Good. Yay. Good. Okay. Uh -huh.